Hello pilots of the internet and welcome to Foldable Flight. In this video, I'm teaching you how to fold Liberty Air Sled, which is an absolutely amazing paper airplane designed by Will Barron. It is easy to fold and it flies way over 150 feet. Now, as you can see, Liberty Air Sled is a fairly simple looking paper airplane, but it is an absolutely stunning plane in terms of performance. It locks together in this three dimensional shape and its wings are razor thin, which means it is exceptionally low drag for a glider and flies absolutely beautifully. Will was getting throws up to 175 feet with this. And I have designed a template for this plane. So if you support me on patreon.com slash foldable flight, you can download this template and print it off so you can fold a plane that looks like this rather than using a regular sheet of paper. Not only that, but you get access to now over 80 other templates as well. So it's an excellent deal for just $4 a month. Be sure to head over there and check that out. And with all of that said, let's see this plane in flight and then we will teach you how to fold it. You can fold the Liberty Air Sled out of an 8.5 by 11 inch or A4 paper. Today I'll be folding out of A4 paper. If you're following along with 8.5 by 11 inch, there's a couple of small measurement differences I'll show you as we go along. The Liberty is a very simple plane, but because of its simplicity, uh, the creases are very important. So there are a couple of tools that I find help quite a lot. Now these tools are optional, but I think they'll help you get the best out of your plane. So we, I, we want a, a ruler, a pencil, and then I use a credit card or any kind of plastic gift card. Uh, and I use this as a sweeper to pull out creases and make good sharp lines. Uh, these are optional, we don't need it, but you'll see me use them as we go along and I think it'll help you get the most out of your plane. To begin with, we'll take the right edge to the left. We'll open that back up. And now I wanna take uh, this top edge to center. We're not gonna crease this all the way through. We're just gonna do what's called a pinch crease on this corner for a reference mark. Open that back up. And now I wanna fold down right at that point. Now we'll take our ruler. We wanna mark up six centimeters, so. One, two, three, four, five, six centimeters. If you're following along with eight and a half by 11 inch, that would be one and a half inches. And we'll do the same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll make a pencil mark at the center here. Cause we'll need that for reference as well. And once again, this is optional. You could just crease this without the use of a ruler, but I find that this helps make the edge uh, very, very crisp and clean, and that's going to help the plane fly better. So I hold that in with my fingers, and then I just start to fold this over. And I'm just creasing this edge right along the edge of the ruler. I don't want to go the whole way. And then once it's like that, I'll just fold it over on itself and complete it. And then I want to do the same thing here. Right to the tip of the plane, right to that check mark. And I'll pull it back on itself like this. And your plane should look like this. Now I'm going to fold it up back on itself like this, right along this original crease. But I want to make sure that these layers, as you can see, these layers bypass each other. I want to make sure they stay in place. So I'm going to reach through there and hold them as I slowly fold this back on itself. Once I have it in place, I'll just press down, making sure I crease those layers that had bypassed each other. We'll open it up. Now you can see we folded this up on itself. And this also has been folded. 
I'm going to reinforce that with my fingernail, lay it down here, and I want to bend it out. Put my fingernail on the top, which helped me reverse this fold. And then I'm going to lay it back on itself, just like that. So now I've reversed this one side. Now I want to take this edge and land it right on the crease here. And we'll roll it back up. We're not going to reverse this side. This one becomes a pocket, which this wing will go into. We're going to leave it just like it is. Rotate the plane, open it up. We want to take this edge and land it on this crease, but we're actually going to go from this crease landing right on it here to on this edge, we want to hold it back about a millimeter or two. And I'll show you why in just a second. So I'm going to fold it up here. As you can see, I just stopped shy of it here. And the reason is when I land this, I want this pocket to be just a little bit bigger than where this plane comes in. Otherwise, they, would, they wouldn't go inside each other. So now we're going to start to close it up, and I need this part of the flap to go inside that. And I'm just going to help it by kind of curling that with my fingernail. And then it'll just go inside like this. I want to take a moment here. I don't want to make any new creases. I'm just putting some tension here on these edges to make sure they go back in where they should. I want this to be as smooth and as symmetrical as possible. This plane is all about precision and clean lines. All right, plane should look like that now, and you can see the layers are kind of held in place by that pocket. I'm gonna lay it on its side here, and now I wanna take my, my ruler and I'm gonna measure four and a half centimeters up. So one, two, three, four and a half, and then just a little less than half, just like that. We want to go right to the tip of the plane, just like this, right to there. If you're following along with eight and a half by 11 inch, you don't actually make a measurement. Um, when you make this fold here, you're just gonna fold as far as the pocket allows. All right, we're gonna turn it over now. And we're not gonna measure this side, we're simply going to match it up at the nose. And then we're trying to make this crease fall like exact, exact as possible on the other side. It's very important that the back of the plane be very flat. There we have it. And your plane should look like this. We're gonna lay it down here and now I'm gonna bring out my gift card and I'm gonna sweep out these wings, taking out any bubbling and I'm really compressing the layers. Do the same thing here. Just like so. Plane should look like this. Now, this plane flies very good just like this, but as you can see, the wings, um, they have a bit of a, a gap here. And as the wind, wind comes over, it drops down and it can fly irregularly or not have as much lift as you'd like. So the next step to really make this fly well is we turn it down on this back here. And I just, I'm falling, finding that crease where this edge is with my fingernail. I'm just running my fingernail along and putting a light crease on it. I'm going to do that on both sides. Just like so. I'll take my ruler here. I'll lay my ruler. And I'm just trying to put the edge of this ruler right on that crease I made. And now I'm running my fingernail farther over. I want to be careful if you have really sharp fingernails you can cut the paper so you may want to make sure your fingernails are not really jagged or sharp you can also take this gift card and you can run this gift card right along there as you can see i've made a, a recess that this wing folds into 
So now the plane is very flat across the top. We'll do the same thing on this side. So we've made this nice recess there, which it makes the plane very, very smooth across the top. And now we just have one more step, and that's to form the winglets. So what we want to do here is we want to form the winglets. Uh, we want them to be even with the, the keel of the plane, and at the tallest point, about one centimeter, or if you're using the eight and a half by 11 inch, about one half inch. Make a mark there. I use my card here. Depending on the size of the card, it might be right up against the keel or it might be away a little bit like this is. This is about a half a centimeter away. But the main thing is you want this point right here about a centimeter and it to be even with the body of the plane. Fold it back up here like this. We'll turn it over, rotate it I should, should say. And then we'll do the same thing here. And I'm just gonna eyeball this. Make sure that's about one centimeter. This plane flies the best when it's as flat as could be across the back. You want to make sure the wings are straight. These winglets are perpendicular to the plane. You might have to do a little bit of up elevator depending on the balance of the plane or how it folds. If it's banking to the right, put a little bit of, of a bend to the left here on the fuselage, or if it's going to the left, you can do the same thing in the right. Uh, this flies very, very well. I had a fantastic time showing you how to fold it. I hope you have fun flying it. Until next time, happy flying. Thank you so much to all of my patrons who are supporting this channel and making these videos possible. You can become the pilot of your favorite foldable flight paper airplane and your name will appear next to the paper airplane you choose in each of my YouTube videos. So head over to patreon.com foldableflight and join the foldable fleet today.